He's for it. Liberals for ruining the planet. I don't understand it. For, you know, <laughs> Obama and him. That's why you gotta vote for me. Can you, can you vote in? Um, my question is about direct action, which you were saying and, and you were alluding to. I've been a part of direct action in San Diego. Uh, four years ago, I took a bridge, I occupied a bridge for six hours and caused the largest traffic jam in San Diego history. And every time I tell that story, people applaud, but it was horrible. It, it, no, it, caused, it, it turned people against my cause. It didn't do anything to further my cause. And even though the police said that I was a political protester, they locked me up for 14 days and forced medicated me which is against the Constitution. So now, starting two weeks ago, I go to the federal building every week, every Tuesday at four until we stop the war, and I release a thousand ladybugs. Because that's the only thing I can do that's peaceful that will get somebody's attention. It hasn't yet, but it will eventually. The reason I'm saying this, and I'm, I know we have, have to bring it to a question, is we have to, sending things to our Congress people would be great if this was a type of thing where we could change their mind. They don't work for us. They work for the corporations. They work for the people who pay them. The only way we get someone like Susan Davis and that corporate guy, Scott, whatever is Peters, the only way we get them to change their mind is to publicly humiliate them. We have to go to their office. We have to stand around their office. We have to release ladybugs, if you want to go with my idea. Whatever it is, we have to get press coverage, and we have to do it in a way that gets Liberals for ruining the planet. I don't understand it. For, you know, Obama and him. That's why you got to vote for me. Can you, can you vote in, in American elections? I can. Oh. I'm not allowed to vote. Your husband can, all right? He can. All right, give him that card. <laughs> You're voting for those. <laughs> well, you make the money. You can tell him what to do. Right? Exactly. Well, thank you for doing this. Thank you for being here. You're, you're awesome. I mean, I, I may be the only person in the world who loved the ending of Lost, so I, I could. No, okay, it was I perfect. It. There's I nothing else you could have done. Exactly. Nothing. There was no other way to go. I loved it. Did you? Okay, exactly. There was no. Did you wrapped it up with a pretty bow and made it an answer to all of life's there questions. There is no way. It would be a betrayal yeah. of everything you stood for. Exactly. They had to leave you with like, hey, search yourself. <laughs> it's in there. It was a warm feeling. Exactly. It was a pretty warm feeling. Yeah. That's one of those shows that just changed people's, because we're, we were so with you guys on that island, it just changed, it really, so to see, for, for some of them, to, you just have a lot of emotional things, people are invested in you because we were with you, so to do stuff like this, because this is, it's the future of the world, I mean it really, it's, it really is, no, it really, no, that's what I was trying to do, I, I have to say, my personal occupying movement is occupying Main Street, mm. my personal Money out of the hands of the 
have to stop shopping at Walmart and That's Home Depot and even start going back to the mom and pop shops. Yeah, absolutely. And occupy on Main Street. Our little small business is kind of getting Amazon, to Amazon too. Amazon put all these Amazon? bookstores out of business. Now they're opening their own bookstores. It's like they put out this small. Exactly. It's incredible. I walk past, they're opening a bookstore. You just kill all the bookstores. Educated consumer decisions occupy Main Street. It's hard work, but it's a lot well, easier than having the world taken over. But I mean, we could, we'd be happy about this crowd, but there's two million people live in the city. Sixty showed up. That's not going to change it, and certainly not going to get our two congressional representatives to change their mind. Although I do think so. Here's the thing. So do you know who Lori Wallach is? No. Lori Wallach is um, basically the head of public citizen. She's an advocacy oh, yeah, okay. group in, in Washington who speak on our behalf, right? Okay. And she, I asked her because I was picking her brain about the TPP and she was talking to me about these different conversations she had with Congress people. Mm. And after like a two and a half hour conversation, I said, can I just ask you, it sounds like our democracy is not as dead as I thought it was.